This is the Black Cliff Forge. Let's look around for clues. back it looks like a ledger but it seems they also use it as a site log we don't know who wrote it but that's interesting don't you think these newcomers who could have sent them you think they're suspicious yes look it says right there one of them's already been promoted to team leader at this rate by the time the Qing Shu pool redevelopment plan is ready to roll They'll be the technical backbone of the team. That'll give them the chance to take a lot of liberties. They can copy any secret texts or steal any treasure they find underground. Imagine if we didn't suspect anything. By the time Jur E recommends the Blackcliff Forge for the excavation project, at most we would maybe do a fresh background check on the place. No red flags if all they did was change some key staff. And even if we decided to vet the staff individually, They'd have had more than enough time by then to come up with fake identities. That's the advantage of planning this far in advance. <laughs> it was a clever move. When you put it like that, it all makes sense. If we hadn't found this out, someone else would have stolen the treasure. So, who's really behind all this? That's a question for the newcomers. But let's start with that worker over there for now. You want them to teach you or something? I gotta say, these newcomers are in tip-top shape. Fast learners, too. They're picking up all the skills unbelievably fast. My only complaint is that they're always going out drinking at night. But they never let us join them. I guess they just need some time to adjust. I'm sure we'll get to know each other over time. <laughs> they go out drinking? This area isn't exactly renowned for the nightlife. I'm guessing it's a long trip to the nearest tavern. You got that right. They tell me they go all the way back to Liwe Harbor to drink at Wanmin Restaurant. It rained after work today, so they actually stuck around at the site for a while. But as soon as the rain stopped, they went out drinking again right away. Hey, you're only young once, right? I say, if they can hack it, let them at it. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go talk somewhere else. Looks like our hunch was on the Mora. These newcomers are very suspicious. Drinking in Liyue Harbor, huh? <laughs> Some cover story. I'll wager they've been going to intelligence updates. Good thing it rained today. It means they'll leave footprints. I doubt they'd give themselves away that easily, but let's follow them and try our luck.
Just as I thought. They didn't go to Liyue Harbor. They went that way. The footprints stop here. But, judging from the direction, I'm guessing their destination was that abandoned house. Looks like we were too late. This has got to be where the newcomers rendezvous with whoever they're working for. But all the evidence has been destroyed. Look at these ashes. Someone was burning documents not long before we arrived. Could there be anything left? Maybe the wind could have blown the fire out before everything was finished burning. The odds of that are very slim. It's practically impossible. I've checked. All the paper's been burned. There's only ash left now. Why don't we wait for them back at the Black Cliff Forge? They've got to go back there sooner or later. We can't count on that. Clearly they were based here at one point, but it's mysteriously abandoned now. To me, that says that whoever's behind this has moved them somewhere else to throw our investigation off course. Darn! Guess this is where our trail runs cooled. Make no mistake. The purpose of our trip wasn't to find any solid evidence. We just need to figure out who's behind Jur E. I smelled something peculiar the moment I came in. Those newcomers probably thought they'd be safe as long as they burned the letters. But what they failed to consider is that paper and ink from different regions produce different odors when they're burned. Really? Pilot can't smell anything. Do you smell anything? There is a certain place with a freezing cold climate, where there's nothing but ice as far as the eye can see. Some wealthy people there put floral fragrance in their ink as a way of injecting a little romance into their writing. When that fragrant ink is burned, this is the exact odor that it leaves behind. Exactly. The evidence will soon be blown away by the wind, so it's nothing we can arrest anyone with. But it's all I need. Now I know who we're dealing with. I can plan our next move. Lady Yelon! Oh, thank goodness I finally found you. I thought I'd never see you again. Um, who are you? Don't be alarmed. This is Upei. He's Wen Yuan and Shang Hua's colleague. I sent him to look into Jur Yi's regular contacts. Since Jur Yi likes fishing, Upei thought he might know some of the fishermen and sailors. So he took a boat out to sea to ask around. I left him a note at Yen Shang Tea House telling him to look for me at Black Cliff Forge when he got back. If there'd been an ambush waiting for us there, it means we'd have had some backup. So, what did you find out at sea? 
<sighs> Forgive my incompetence. I'm afraid I've come up empty-handed. I asked all the fishermen multiple times, but none of them had any interactions with Jury before. Then the waves got so choppy I ended up falling overboard. Fortunately, someone managed to drag me out. When I got back, I heard that you'd gone to Black Cliff Forge and might need backup, so I went straight there as fast as I could. Didn't even stop to change my clothes. Hmm. Huh. Well, Uncle Tien said that Jur E once bought a recipe from one of the fishermen. Did you hear anything about that at all? What? That's news to me. No, that's not possible. It's absolutely not possible. Lady Yalen, I'm telling you, I spoke to every single fisherman out there, and none of them mentioned anything about a recipe. Interesting. Then I wonder how that even more wonderful fish soup came about. Fish soup? What fish soup? Nothing. Our priority right now is to find a way to get our hands on some solid evidence. Well, any suggestions? Hmm, not a bad idea. Upe, what do you think? Honestly, I've already tried following Jury, but the guy's too cautious. Never meets with anyone suspicious. Okay, so tailing's out. No, we'll still need to tail him. But first, we need to do some groundwork. Groundwork? When you've worked in intelligence for a long time, you'll understand that no one can stay on high alert forever. Especially when he thinks he's about to win. Tomorrow morning, I'll announce his victory at your high pavilion. Take a guess what you think he'll do next. Be sure to arrive on time. You won't want to miss the show. It looks like we're all here. Well then, time for me to announce the results of the assessment process. I won't drone on about the importance of the Tianshu role. Suffice to say that Uncle Tian entrusted me with the monumentally important task of assessing the candidates. And now, it falls to me to give him a satisfactory answer. All of us here know the score. Don't beat around the bush, just get on with it. Qianwei has many pioneering ideas. But some of his plans are lacking in detail, and he easily gets into testy exchanges with other people. Mingbo is reliable, but not quite ambitious enough, and because of his personality, he struggles to win people over. In contrast, Jur E is evenly balanced across the board, and enjoys an excellent reputation in Niue. 
After much consideration, I have decided to recommend Jur E to the Liue Qixing. Uh, what? Oh, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Honestly, I'm a little surprised to hear my name being announced. In my estimation, all three of us are worthy candidates for the Tianshu position. As your competitor, I've become keenly aware of your great talents. Would either of you entertain the possibility of working with me in the future and taking on some of my workload? I'll have to see. Uh, I'm in a bad mood. This is the last thing I want to be thinking about right now. I don't mind. As long as I can help. Okay, well, that's all from me. Jur E, you'll have some preparation to do. It won't be long before you're informed of your official appointment. I hope you will work hard and make Uncle Tian proud. I will live up to the Tian Shu name. On this, you have my word. I should go. I need to pack my things, and then I think a celebratory meal is in order. Would anyone like to join me? Count me out. I'm not in the mood for a celebration. Jerry Yi seems pretty relaxed now. This would be a good time to follow him. Hey, Traveler, tell me something. What exactly does that guy have that I don't? If you can't answer that, I'm not accepting this result. I, uh, also wouldn't mind knowing. Oh no, if we get stuck here, we won't be able to leave! Follow him. Yes, ma'am. Lady Yelan, jury has gone towards Feiyun Slope. Follow him, quickly. So Juri really sided with the Fatui? But Uncle Tian thinks so highly of him. Why would he do this? Difficult to say, but everything should become a lot clearer when we find him. Sorry, Lady Elon. We lost him. He's too good at this. We weren't able to keep following him without being seen. How the heck did he manage to shake Elon's subordinates? I guess Jiri Yi didn't let his guard down. Still as vigilant as ever. No, Upe says he's much more relaxed than usual. Maybe it's just how he's wired. Perceptive enough to sense when he's being watched. Don't blame yourselves. Let's not forget he was trained by Uncle Tian himself. Evading detection is not an unusual skill for him to have. If I'd asked you to tail Uncle Tian, you'd have ended up at a dead end too. It's fine. So, where did you lose him? Shinyue Kiosk. He only went in briefly. Upe and I were watching outside the whole time. A few moments later, a man dressed in a completely different outfit came out. Upe had a feeling that it was him, we couldn't get close enough to check without blowing our cover. I figured that if we spooked him, it would undo what we've accomplished today so far. Another option would have been to arrest him there and then. But without any evidence, that would have been meaningless. So I stopped, Upe, and I stayed here to wait for you while that meathead went to ask around in Shinue Kiosk. Good work. The fish didn't take the bait, but that's okay. As long as he's still swimming around, we'll find a way to catch him eventually. The key is figuring out what he's trying to achieve. Let's go to Shinue Kiosk. Shinue Kiosk. Place to go for classic Ua dishes.
could you explain to me how that works? A guy like him comes in, changes his whole outfit right under your nose, and you don't even ask him about it? Our customers are free to dress however they please. What grounds would I have to question him? <sighs> okay, fair enough, but didn't you think it was just a little bit strange? Well, maybe I did, but it still doesn't give me the right to stop him. Enough. Let's tone this down a little. I'll make this quick. Just one question. What did he buy while he was here? Oh, he didn't buy anything. He just picked up a bottle of liquor that he ordered ages ago. A bottle of liquor? Yes, a very strong kind. Fiery, with a rich flavor. Not something the average customer would order. This gentleman ordered it in person from us a long time ago. He was only here today to pick it up. Liquor... and wineware. I see. Let's go. Where to? Shigu Antiques. Hey, Miss Ninlong. Sorry to bother you. Jur E ordered a wineware set from you not long ago, right? We're friends of his. He's been telling us how impressed he is with the quality, considering how affordable it was. So we just had to come and take a look for ourselves. Sure. Which model are you looking for? Um, we don't really know a whole lot about wineware. Let's just go with Jur E's choice. Would you be able to show us the one he bought? Jur E picked up his set not long ago. As a quality imitation of an antique wineware set, it has the look and feel of a luxury item. Just so you're aware, we don't have many of this model left in stock. And now that Mr. Jur E has taken one, I'm afraid it may encourage the price to go up a little. Don't worry. Price shouldn't be an issue. I'm sure we can work something out. But I'm just a little hazy on one thing. Did Jur E's wineware set include wine glasses, or...? For this set, the wine glasses are sold separately. Minimum purchase is one glass, maximum is four. Mr. Jur E bought... two. Okay. Thanks, Lin Long. Seems there's a little more to buying wineware than I first thought. We'll have to mull it over. Well, don't take too long. We could sell out any day now. All right, see you next time. This is turning into a real headache. Uh, I'd just like to point out that we have the self-professed Grand Master of Fieldwork here to thank for being wholly incapable of tailing an ordinary civilian without being seen. It's not like you did any better. My specialty is information trading, okay? I don't have the physical agility. What's your excuse? I... uh... Fair point. Yeelon, so has the plan failed? Oh, if we can't figure out where Jerry went, 
There's not much we can do. But why was he buying liquor at Shinue Kiosk anyway? To celebrate? If so, it's no ordinary celebration. What do you mean? First of all, Jur E isn't much of a drinker. On some level, he hates alcohol because of what it did to his father. If he was just looking to celebrate by himself, he wouldn't spend his meager savings on an expensive bottle of alcohol, let alone buy a pair of special wine glasses. Now, this is a victory feast, held in honor of Jur E's private sponsor. Whoever this person is clearly enjoys hard liquor and has a very high status, hence the need for expensive-looking wineware. Now where might we find Fatui who match that description, I wonder? Fatui officials... Hmm, should be either the Snezhnayan Embassy or the Northland Bank. Have both locations surrounded. Take as many people as you need. Lady Yalon, is it time for us to make our move? If so, you can count me in. Get with the program, would you? This is a covert surveillance operation. Jury may be vigilant, but that doesn't mean the same is true for his drinking buddy. In which case, we don't need to change tactics. Just change who we're following. Great idea! So we just need to find out who Juri bought that liquor for and follow them instead! But Lady Yelan, if we get caught, this could become a major diplomatic incident. I'm well aware, but don't you see? Jur E is gambling everything on this. If we really want to catch him, we're going to have to accept a little risk ourselves. Stick to your orders, and make sure we're covering all other bases too. Anywhere else Jur E might be going. I want eyes on those locations. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Lady Yelan. Jur E may be a slippery character, but we'll keep a close watch on the movements of all Fatui officials. I'll be waiting for you at the tea house. If I'm guessing correctly, Fatui officials are likely to take action at night. You should go and get ready. Then meet me at Yenshang Tea House. Perfect timing. Wen Yuan just sent word that the Fatui ambassador, Yusupov, just left the embassy alone. He's heading in the direction of Qingxu Pool. Qingxu Pool? That's the place Jerry mentioned in his manifesto! It looks like that's where they've arranged to meet. Sensible choice, I'll give them that. Qingxu Pool is always crawling with monsters. Most people wouldn't dream of going there. It's one place they won't need to worry about being seen. Oh no, we gotta go get them! Let's go. If my hunch is correct, we just might hit the jackpot this time. Wanna come over for tea? <laughs> This is Qingxu Pool, full of ruins, crawling with monsters. Anyone with any sense steers well clear of this place. I've looked into the place before. There's a worker's entrance somewhere around here. Follow me. There's been some work done on this place in the past, but it's a bit of a labyrinth inside. 
I can't guarantee we'll be safe once we're underground. The workers left an emergency access route. If we can find it, this will be a much easier journey. Still, be ready to fight at any moment. Any resistance needs to be taken out quickly and quietly. We don't want to attract too much attention. Don't worry, we're all professionals here! By the way, Yeon, where are your three little helpers at? They have other things to take care of first. We couldn't afford to wait for them, but they'll join us later. There's still a long road ahead. Sato This is the construction worker's emergency access route, but it's closed tight. Trying to break through would be risky. Let's see if we can find another way.
Take it easy.
Take it easy. The waters flowed into the groove, and now the statues have lit up. Okay, now we should be able to move the statues. Thank you. 
open. Let's go. We should be nearly at the bottom now. Let's wrap this up. I can tell from the aroma that this is very fine liquor indeed. I'm impressed. Come on, bottoms up. Uh, after you, of course. <coughs> oh, sorry, that went down the wrong way. I've never drunk anything this strong before. It'll take me some getting used to. <laughs> You'll get there. If you want to stay friends with us, you have to drink with us. <coughs> I'll do my best. You're more of a lightweight than I thought. Already struggling after one glass? <laughs> I thought you were made of sterner stuff. You certainly kept it together when you were poisoning your teacher's soup. Come on, another round. Less talking, more drinking. <laughs> sure. You didn't leave me much of a choice, though, did you? Just the mention of poisoning sends shivers down my spine. I'm more timid than you realize. Every time I poisoned him, I had to hide away at home for a few days because I was so scared of getting caught. Look, I know it has not been easy for you, my friend. We appreciate all your hard work. But, oh, I have to say, you really are quite a genius at poisoning people. I mean, the poison we brought from Snezhnaya is as strong as this wine, but you found a way to turn it into an imperceptible, slow-acting poison and came up with the idea of delivering it through fish soup. What was it you said? Oh, oh yeah. You said the soup's fishy flavor neutralizes the pungency of the poison, and this process even makes the soup tastier as a result. How did you think of that? It struck me one day when I was fishing. I'm lucky it did. Otherwise, I'm not sure I would have been able to fool Uncle Tien. You have performed excellently. The Fatui will continue to provide the support you need to consolidate your position as Tian Shu. Of course, this is as long as you continue to do as we instruct. Aside from Ching Shu Pool, we also have some other requests for you, which we will inform you of in due course. Don't worry. Whatever tasks you have for me, I will perform them diligently. Did you hear that? It was poison! That's why Uncle Tian hasn't been feeling well recently. It's all Juryi's doing. What a nasty guy! Seize him! Hold on. Did you bring a camera? 
If not, you can use mine. This is quite a scene. We have to capture it for posterity. Ah. Excellent liquor. We've, uh, seen no progress on the diplomatic front, and everyone has been eyeing up the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. It's been a real headache for me. But soon, everything will be taken care of, and I can report back on a successful mission. Thank you, Juryi. Ah, <sighs> I remember when I first saw you. I knew right away that you would make a good partner for us. Hey. Do you still remember what I said to you? How could I forget? You said a lowly commoner like me could never be seen as a serious candidate for the Tianshu, no matter how hard I work. The only way is for you to shine bright in the Tianshu's darkest moment. I think you were absolutely right. Yes. Under normal circumstances, the gap between you and other people could only ever grow wider over time. Just look at your two competitors. Qin Wei had wealth. Ming Bo had reputation. But you? You had nothing. You were just another nobody. And that's why I decided to help you. You know, there's an old saying in the Fatui. Give a starving dog a bone, and it'll guard your home for the rest of its life. Yes. I cannot thank you enough for your generous support. <laughs> uh, you know, the best thing about you is that you do as you're told without complaining. Hey, keep up the good work, and I can assure you, you'll never have to worry about Mora again. Uh, heck, when you're not in the company of the Fatui, you'll be able to throw your weight around as much as you want. How about that? Uncle Gao said that Jur Yi has low self-esteem. Seems he was right. He was worried that whatever advantage he might have now will diminish over time, so the Fatui persuaded him that he should act while he can. Do you have any more film in the camera? Then get ready to use it. Tonight's grand finale should be coming up any minute now. How well this goes for us depends on how Jur Yi plays his hand. Ooh, is there any more alcohol? Hmm, go on, fill me up. I'm in a good mood today, and I'm gonna drink my fill. Hmm, make sure to get me home safely afterward. There's only a little left. Here, I'll fill your glass. If you like it, I can bring you some more next time. Ooh. Mm, whoa, <laughs> this is the good stuff. It is great. Huh? <coughs> what the? Charlie, you, you poisoned my wine. But but when? You seem surprised, Mister Yusupov. You... How could you? How could I not? I've sacrificed years of my life studying and reflecting to prepare myself for this position. And in the end, I even had to poison my own teacher. You really think I'd put myself through all that just to become your little puppet? I don't want to bow down to anyone ever again. And that includes you. You imbecile. It's the Fatui who got you to where you are. Do you understand? If I disappear with no explanation, the embassy will come after you. They'll get to the bottom of this. Mark my words. Do you see the haystack in the corner? Underneath it is a pile of explosives. And next door in the dark room are the three undercover agents you sent to infiltrate the Black Cliff Forge. I'm gonna stay here till I see you slip into unconsciousness. Then I'm gonna set this on fire. Once the flames burn through the hay, they'll ignite the explosives, the ruins will collapse, and everything will be buried. What? What do you hope to? 
I took the liberty of leaving some evidence of your contact with the undercover agents at the Black Cliff Forge. It won't take long for people to join the dots. Two missing person cases will become one as the truth gradually reveals itself. The Fatui planted undercover agents in the Black Cliff Forge to steal their signature ruin grade explosives. Their plan was to blow through the solid floor tiles in the dead of night and seize the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. Ah, but things didn't quite go to plan. Mistakes were made that led to the accidental deaths of the entire crew. Faced with the overwhelming evidence, the Embassy won't investigate this any further. In fact, they'll be only too happy to blame it all on a rogue operation by you. It explains why you acted alone, while exonerating the rest of the Embassy of any liability. Of course, none of that will have anything to do with me. When all of this comes to my attention, I'm afraid I'll have no choice but to cancel the Qing Shu Pool redevelopment plan immediately. I guess then, I'll be Tian Shu in my own right, with a clean record and well out of the Fatui's reach. <laughs> Cherry, do you really think you're gonna get away with this? The Fatui has a record of everything. That includes the poison, all interactions between us, even my trip here tonight. After I die, they'll come looking, and they'll get to the bottom of this. A record? Oh, you must mean the one in the hands of your second-in-command, Theophon. How... how do you know about that? Because when you contacted me, I also made contact with your associates. I have Theophon to thank for providing me with the poison I used on you today. He'll help me tie up all the loose ends. After all, your untimely demise comes with a few perks for him. He has been eyeing your position for a long time now. <sighs> that traitor! Chur <coughs> Yi, you! Shh, 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 shh. Relax. It's over. After tonight, everyone gets what they want. And anyone else in the know is either my accomplice or about to be taken out of the picture. Sweet dreams, Mr. Yusupov. I did a little surveying on the way here and found that you'd left yourself three escape routes in case things went south. I have them all surrounded. If you're thinking of trying anything, save yourself the effort. The game's up. We were here the whole time.